Okay, everybody, as we look at these particular scatter plots, let's see can we determine association. Now, I want to tell you that this word is relatively, well, I'll say it's probably new to you, but the word, may I say, means something that you are definitely familiar with. And that word will, is uh, correlation. So what we're actually talking about is something that you learned in 6th and 7th grade. And we're talking about let's determine a particular correlation. Okay? So don't, don't, please don't get confused here and think, oh my God, we're talking about something completely different. But no, we're not. We're going to use the word association and say that association and correlations are synonyms. Okay, let's go forward. You will be you will be required to describe the association or correlation in a scatter plot when we finish with this lesson and the, the, cap, the key vocabularies that we will look at and we have quite a few here, I think five or six uh, association slash correlation, a linear association slash correlation, a positive association slash correlation, a negative association slash correlation, or no correlation, or no association slash um, correlation. So what do we mean by association? Association describes how a particular set of data are related or sets of data are related. So if I were to say that the data is closely grouped and it, as we go from left to right it is going upward then it has a particular correlation or association and if I said this another set of data is closely knitted or closely gathered around or clustered around a line that is going down and to the right it has a certain uh, association and if we look at a, a, a set of data and it has no bearings on whether it's going up or down left or right we say that that is no association and we like again we say we can we can say that that is no correlation. So again, association, 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 we're just looking at, at a word that you learned earlier, which was correlation. So the author goes on and gives us a definition. A positive association means that both data sets increase together. A negative association means that as one data set increase, the other data set decrease and no association means that changes in one data set just don't affect the other data set and we can see here with our positive association as it is increasing from left where we begin to right and again the negative association is decreasing from left to right as we go right the, the data is actually going down and in here again we say that there is no association whatsoever. Data that shows a positive or negative association and lie basically along a line exhibit a linear association. So we actually see that this pretty much is clustered around a line this is pretty much clustered around a line or should I say along a line and these are not so if if the data set lie basically along a line we call it linear and if the data shows a positive or negative association but does not lie along a line we say it is nonlinear okay let's go forward so what we have is a set of data and 
the actual uh, author says that Susan asked people, so apparently she did some type of survey, if they would buy a new product she developed uh, at each of the several prices. The scatter plot shows how many of the 20 said yes and at this particular price. So apparently she asked 20 people and of that 20, so many said yes for, for a particular price and of course so many um, apparently didn't say yes. So we ought to describe the association between the price and the number of buyers. The price is, is we see is one particular variable and buyers is the other variable and of course the, the, the buyers will definitely depend on the price. So looking at what we see is as she increases her price, notice that the bias goes down. As price go from literally, let's look at what this interval tells us, two, four, six. So as price goes from $2 to four, there's a decrease. From four to six, there's a decrease from six to eight is a decrease and, and as we go at the more she increases the price the number of buyers decrease so there is a negative association we can see and because the data point do not lie along a line the association is uh, nonlinear okay As it is negative because it is going down and to the left, but this line is not. It looks more as if it could be, well, we won't get into that part, but no, it would not be a linear. It looks a little like a quadratic, but we won't get there. It says, so, so what if uh, number five, look at the reflect question, based on the association shown in the scatter plot, what do you think will happen if she increased her price to $14? So you look on the x-axis and determine according to the buyers what would happen. Okay, then we'll take a look at this particular scatter plot and it shows the reading level and height for students in the district. So reading level 1, 2 on the 10 and the height in inches of 40, 45, 50, 55, and these are inches. So it asks us to describe the association and give a possible reason for it. Okay, so what I want you to do is let's go back here. Let's go ahead and st stop it. See, can you answer question five? Once you're done there, um, stop it and answer question six and then come back when you're done. Okay, so here we go. Based on the association shown in the scatter plot, what do you think will happen if Susan increased? Well, <laughs> there it is there. If we went, this is 12, and this would be 14, so I would see, and I'm just going to put a dot here, I would see no one. Okay, and I think that's what the author is going to conclude, that it is likely that no one would buy the product. So number six. So it says the reading level and height for students in the district describes the correlation. So as we go back to it, we see that this is definitely a positive correlation. And we have an outlier right here at six, but for the most part, if we were to uh, look at it and see it. and there's something else while we're here let's try and with our connector here and see well how is this clustered so how is this particular data clustered and it looks like it's clustered along the line so let's see if um, if the author agrees with us here well it says that Yes, it's positive and basically linear. So because we were able to put that line and then they were clustered, your data was clustered along the line, but it also tells us that older students would be taller and read at a higher level. 
and let's see what do the graph literally tells us that if we go back and look so it's just really looking at reading level but we could probably just conclude because older students will be taller that these would be older students if not we can just say literally that the higher uh, the taller a student is the, the higher his reading level but we we can come to a conclusion that these were be these would be older students okay all right again thank you and if you if you have not subscribed and please do so and let's go on and see can we really get prepared for this year's uh, star test in the state of Texas with these brand new teaks. This is Mr. Taylor and I'll see you soon.